this stream here is probably gonna have some technical issues because every time I stream there seems to be technical issues I'm half committing to this here accent while I try to run my advertisements my advertisements all right let's just try to start the way we start every stream and get rid of those pre-rolls there we go beautiful stream has begun I moved the chat and I'm going to be looking at the wrong spot constantly now so let's do that. Also, I'm sitting, I'm sitting like a reasonable distance away from my screen instead of like a gamer distance. So that might affect things too. Well, you see the problem here is I can't afford none of your fancy city folk upgrades, but I could get some dynamite, I reckon, which is actually extremely useful. Uh, now I believe I have a teleporter right here. We should probably just spend some time getting some cash. There we go. I'm doing the uh, kind of dumb thing of I just played Hollow Knight. I just ba I beat the uh, the main game and like the good ending. Um, I still have the gods DLC to complete. But, um, I'm going from that game to this game, both 2D platformy things. It's that classic, uh, thing where you're gonna be- I might, I might do a, uh, control that I think is for this game, but is actually for Hollow Knight, and then die. Now, that is a classic thing, um, it happened to me a lot with, like, with The Witcher, and Dark Souls, and those kind of games, like, 3D action -y games, like, all the buttons being different. Like, you'll- it'll be sprinting in one game, like in the- okay, I just used my entire drill. Oh, no. Okay, well... It seems that this is a big issue. I need a new pickaxe upgrade. I should probably buy that. Just because I can't actually mine... blocks. Now, I'm going to- I'm just going to assume that the new pickaxe will allow me to mine some of these blocks that I cannot mine right now without the drill. I should like remind one of these buttons because honestly sprint on square is kind of a weird bind. I would rather have sprint be on like a shoulder button or something. All right, well, let's uh, we learned our lesson a little bit from before where it's kind of it was really hard to get back out of the cave so let's make it more accessible to leave if we need to by heading down this way hopefully we can get a chatter in the chat to let me know how the audio sounds i just did some extensive audio testing and it sounded fine to me audio is just like the weirdest thing on uh twitch trying to get like audio set up in my current setup, it's just, it's rough sometimes. Ooh, ow. Okay, well this is, this is so bad. Cool. Can I jump on his head and kill him like that? I wonder. Alright, well, clearly, as you can see, what I was saying earlier about having an escape route, uh, I still need one so let's attempt in our best attempt to maintain the validity the validity of my escape route that I originally wanted to have and uh, if we dig here this is actually let's see can we get back not really you know this is why the big ladders would come in handy Again, I'm starting to see the importance of, uh, those ladders. Well, we have steam jump, so we're fine. And we just got the water we need for a drill, which is nice. Not gonna even bother going down there. 
Well, I reckon this is what we had to do. There seems to be some sort of tank device. All right. This is what we did before. We like did this entire area and then uh, ran out of life. And I think we had to restart it. There we go. We actually dodged that pretty masterfully. Me forgetting. That was me forgetting what button uh, does what. Circle being attacked, which is weird. These buttons are all over the place. Oh god, I thought I could Mario run through that. I thought I could run over a small pit. I could not. I just immediately died. Is this far enough? Okay. Look at that. Level design right there. Now there's an upward path over here. Let's peep this. Oh, I can dig through here. Cool. D light. Well, this thing right here does all of that for me. Also, I just realized the reason I, I left here is I didn't have water to dig up. And turns out that wasn't actually what I was supposed to do anyway, regardless. That's so... Oh, God. Wait, don't stand underneath this box. This is just terrifying. Look, look at this. this. This is clearly, clearly a trap. Just to get me to get murdered by a box. And I'm not having it. Okay. We're just going to avoid conflict. What's our new upgrade? Okay, we can punch people now. That's fun. All right, I want to see what this does. You can charge it. I hope it doesn't explode. No, you can fully charge it. And then there's a big punch, which I assume does damage. Oh, and it breaks through stuff. Okay. I wonder how much it breaks through. Oh yeah, there's fall damage. No, these poor, these poor troop members from... I thought for some reason I thought it was like Boy Scouts. No, it's clearly people waiting for Half-Life 3. Check that out. Look at these guys right here. Look at this clever joke. Can you tell this game came out on the uh, 3DS? Originally a DS, the, the series starts on DSi. Just, uh, it gets funnier the longer that is, re it is uh, relevant. Also, we just took so much unnecessary damage from fall damage. It's very sad. I have to try to actually get out of this cave without dying now. Because I have so much loot that I would like to, you know, see the profit from. So, let's try our best to not just take dumb damage now. How do we even get down here? Was it through there? Okay, that is not ideal for like a get retreat. I mean, this is this is pretty okay right here because we know that it's safe. Like I I have a pathway from from here at least. At a minimum I know I could get up this way. At the very least. Let me drill this bad boy. I would like the power pick, but I kind of want to get the tungsten pick in case that's just better at mining. So I don't get stuck anymore. We appear to need to use the... Giga jump to get up here. That is rough. That is a rough location for that to be. Like, this teleporter is just situated in such a not great position. Maybe if I dig down, I can do something. You'll be getting to the bottom of the old world soon. Man, truly, we will become the Steam World dig. Okay, cool. Let's go buy that uh, tungsten pick. Yes, pick up. Silver pick. We can get an, another pick upgrade too, right off the bat. Look at that. Look at that. We got an extra pickaxe. 
a giant pouch would be cool. Anything would be cool, to be honest. Okay, where do we actually have to go? It looks like we have to go here, but it probably... This isn't as relevant as the checkpoints, I would assume. Can I aim this fist up? I can. Okay, that is really useful. So if I need to go back and hit something above me, I can. Good to know. These are drillable. I can't mine them. Let's get some tons of money. Maybe I'll be able to mine them eventually, or maybe they're always going to be just something I need the drill for. Chocolate. Oh, no. This zone. What is this cursed zone? I probably have to make these fall, but I'm just gonna... Okay, there's no doubt in my mind that this is gonna be some sort of puzzle in which I need to level these out. So what I'm currently doing is probably not ideal, although that looks fine. Okay, yeah, this is a we need to level them puzzle. Which, let's hope it resets maybe? It does, okay. So let's just think about this for a second. I mean, this is actually fine. Although we can make it lower. Am I supposed to make the other ones lower first? Well, let me go to the bottom. And just see... I just want to go over here all the way to see something. Okay, so... We're just going to get rid of this entire bottom layer. Then get in here. Okay, so that will that's level. This is not level over here. But I don't think I can make this fall. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. And then you can make this fall. And then that's blocked. So what is blocking? What part of this is actually blocked? So I don't want that last one to fall. So I don't want the last one to fall all the way down. Okay, if I grab these right away, then that's just going to be bad. So I go down here. I have to be able to go in here. Okay, that is good. Okay. Huh. I mean, I can make this one fall. What, what do I need to do for this part? So it does need to fall, but like just one down. Okay. Interesting. I think this is probably the root in here. Okay. Uh... That needs to fall once. This needs to fall once. This needs to fall. And then th they were good. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, no. I lined them up perfectly to be incorrect. <laughs> they need to all fall down one more. Puzzles. Okay, uh, let's go down here. We'll do exactly what we did before, but with one extra layer. Try that out. Okay, that's scary. Now, I sense there's a problem here, but I can solve it with my new weapon that I got. Where I screwed this part up, but I think it's technically okay. I feel like a cheat. Uh, I don't have any light anymore. That's sad. Okay, that's not gonna work. Hmm. 
So that last one needs to land on uh, That one over here Also, this is bad. I can't see now Okay, so one of them needs to land On top of um, It's gonna just ruin my uh, train of thought now that I can't see Well, let's go try and uh, drill down and get some oops I'm gonna go try to grab some gems and head back to town There we go Because my uh, train of thought was ruined slightly Need more light. It's true. I do Could very much use some light Could probably get a lantern upgrade or something that might be ideal Give me them gems We need more weddy More water All right, let's not even bother For right now, I can't imagine what the sequel so like everyone's saying like the sequel to this game is some crazy Metroidvania fantastic game and like this game is pretty cool. I just can't see how it's like It's gonna be like so different I guess All right, we got some cash points So we Huh, he's got the the, the the two shops that we can go between Let's get a full heal Let's just make sure we have we don't have all of his upgrades Let's get the optimized jump There we go, so we better optimized our jumping ability And I mean the sturdy armor probably makes sense to get as well So now we got rid now we got these upgrades done We have these cool new upgrades over there that we want to get, but we can't deal with right now. We have full uh, light, it looks like. So we can head back in here and try this puzzle once again. Okay, so we want this to fall. I'm gonna just assume that we want something like this order. Um, and we want this to almost fall all the way down. Except for this last segment And then we want this to fall I think too And then this to go down twice Yep And then this to go down This needs to go down one Which Might not be possible Wait, okay, I might have found a, a loophole in this I might have found a weird, all right, I think I found a dumb gimmick. Yeah. Oh, no, this is just I was like this is almost a cool little loophole I can do but no that needs to not go down all the way Okay, so let's just get this straight again this right here has to it can't touch the ground so I need to dig through here somehow uh, I'm gonna have to dig through which I don't know how exactly I'm gonna be able to do that does anything happen with this oh okay yeah you can you can get in here but I'm gonna have to run through Okay, and then this has to come down And then this has to eventually come down. I might be stuck Can I dynamite this all right because I could break this and then run over here Let me try to dynamite it Maybe that'll get lucky 
Oh, I just realized they're all too low. How did I hit all the ones to the bottom? Wait, did it crush the things that it fell on? Why am I uh, having such difficulty with this puzzle? Oh, it does. It does like do. Da it does damage. Oh wow, that's really annoying. It does damage to the blocks it falls on. Okay, I think. I don't think I'm supposed to take out those bottom ones. So what I'm going to do instead is maybe I can head around through here. Yeah, I'm just dead from that. That's what I figured. Oh, I don't think it killed me. I don't think I'm dead dead from from dying from like the environment. So that was fine. Okay. I gotta recover my fire gauge so I can try to get this puzzle. So I can see. All right, let's dig straight down. I had a, I had like the right idea. I felt like at one point when I was doing this. Now I just, I'm like, I have fully reset my brain on this puzzle and I have to redo it in my head. Okay. That is almost fine where that is. That's good. That's good. And now this just needs to fall one. Oh, I think I might have did it. Oh my god, it fell too low. Wait. Can it go all the way down? Nope. Big brain. I have small brain right now. I almost did it. And now there's no way I'm going to be able to do it again. So this has to literally be... Okay, I have to leave these... One second. I have to do this. So, like, this right here... Has to stay here. In order for that... I'm pretty sure that's how it lines up. Yeah, so in order for that to work, that has to stay there. And this other one needs to stay there. These ones are already good. Now, over here, I need to deal with this issue. And, uh, which means this needs to fall down one. This can go down one. This goes down two. And this goes down one. Beautiful, we did it. It took forever, but we solved the puzzle. And we got some blue orbs, which, I mean, they're really good. That puzzle took a very long time to solve. Even though it was very simple. It was just a bashing my head against it uh, situation. Okay, we got to adjust the mic because it started to fall. All right, hopefully that's fine. Cool, we did it. We bigged, we out bigged the brain. We became smarter than a fifth grader, and I thought I was going to be... Honestly, I thought uh, that I was going to get a bunch of money. I mean, getting the uh, orbs is good, because those are really useful. Still, I did think I was going to get some cash. How good is this fist? Not good against that specific kind of thing. Okay, well, we can't get that anyway, and we're almost out of water. Man, water in this game really just runs the world. Like, you need it for everything. I mean, it's- I guess you need steam. Technically, and it is Steam World Dig. So that makes sense, but still. It's a force to try to get this water sometimes. Dig over here. Can't dig down. Alright. 
If you can't dig down, you might as well find a nice pathway. A nice pathway you can easily jump out of when you uh, get stuck inevitably in the hole of death. When you get stuck down here. Shows to the proximity TNT barrels that know when you're near them. So they get ready to blow up. Well, there goes that gem. Okay, I honestly thought it was going to break the other gem, but I'm pleasantly surprised it didn't. Okay, let's just carefully navigate this labyrinthian dungeon of rock and stone. Get those blowing up. Look at this. Look at this nonsense right here. No sense to be had. Nonsense indeed. Did I do this? I it would appear that I did this area. Also, here's the teleporter that we uh, already activated. I think this is like where we were. Rockin' Stone. If you ain't coming home, Rockin' Stone, everyone. This game really is Rockin' Stone. The game, besides the actual game that is Rockin' Stone, the game. Which is, uh, Deep Rock Galactic. Robots. Robots. Oh, I did get the damaging pick. I don't remember when I got that, but I got it. Okay, can I no longer... I guess I unlocked upgrades just at this place now. Gigantic pouch. Oil lantern. I can't afford it. The water seal. Oh my goodness! Oh my the goodness, The prophecy Puff. is true! Pomp has subscribed for seven months. Hello, Pomp. Uh, I'm liking this game f enough, like pretty good. I just have this weird, uh, I have this weird thing where um, I'm just aware that there's a sequel to this game and that the sequel is supposed to be like, and every time I was, I, cause I bought the sequel cause it was also on sale. And every single comment I would see is like, man, the, the sequel is so much better than this first game. Like, man, don't even bother playing the first one because the sequel's so much better. And it's just, and I'm just like, I want to play this, but I'm just like, man, how good is that sequel? You know? They're just talking it up so hard. Let's get a new lantern. So we can actually see more. See more! Have you played this game? I feel like everyone did. I feel like I'm one of the only people who like did not play this game when it was like real big. Like this game was very, very big for a while. The whole Steam World games. And then there's Heist, which is like a XCOM style game, which I, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I thought this was the game that you had the gun or whatever, like with the revolver thing. Like, I think I'm thinking of Heist. Um, I thought this was gonna be like the mining stuff, but then you had the gun So I'm I'm wrong. It is definitely a cool game. It feels almost like a old-school iPod touch game Because I've played several games where it's like you mine like this like on the the iPhone back in the day Yeah, I, I haven't touched it that was the thing like too like everyone bought it and then like no one played it. But yeah, I mean, it was on sale. I mean, I kept saying I was gonna play it. It was like, well, I think this game was like $2 or something. It's still like $2 on Steam. And I'm like, why would I not buy it? Also, man, I think I got way lower than I originally thought. And then I just went back up. I kind of don't like how the teleporters or like whatever teleporter you just used. I, I think I did this. Man, there's a lot of stuff that I already did over here. I should probably get back to where I was. Let me just mine, let me drill this. It is a little interesting, the resource, like the way you uh, have to ration your resources is a little interesting with like, the water mechanic it's a little annoying like some of the mechanics are a little like 
Uh, I'm not gonna jump in there for that. They're a little annoying rather than like interesting. Like certain things like having to go back to the town constantly. Is it, that's fine, but like, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I don't need to critique my get this game. It's been a good time. But yeah, I beat Hollow. Oh, wow. Okay, spikes. Ouch. I beat Hollow Knight. The, uh, I finally beat it, which is really funny, and I knew this was gonna happen. Um, where I had played through that whole game, done the. did, did the, uh, Grim DLC, did all that stuff on another file, and then, uh, just fell off the game. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I don't wanna do this right now. And, uh, all I had to do was beat, like, the, the ball, like, the final boss. And then I just did it, and I'm like, wow, I could have, like, a year ago, I could have just did that. I think I wanted to do the, uh, before I beat the final boss, I wanted to do, like, the gods DLC, which would have been dumb to do, so. I'm glad I beat it. That game is very good. That final, final boss, the, uh, the, uh, spoilers for Hollow Knight, I can't even remember its name. Radiant, I think it's Radiance or something. That, that final boss, that boss was really annoying. <laughs> like, genuinely unfun to fight. Just because you had to fight the Hollow Knight every attempt. Like, you had to fight a mini boss, like the final boss of the game. You had to fight him every single time you wanted to attempt the actual final boss. So it was just annoying. I mean, it became to the point where I was just like insta-killing the final boss, like the previous boss just because I had done it so many times. Yeah, but still it was annoying. Speaking of annoying, this area right here is a little bit annoying to traverse. There's a lot of explodey men and random stuff in here. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, this guy's a lot of health. The punch, the power punch. Luckily I have the the PP, the power punch. To beat him up. I would like to get back to the surface if possible. All right, let's uh, punch. We're gonna punch our way through this wall, which is a nice feature. Okay, so like, I would like to get to the surface. Also, oh, I can't punch in the air. Good to know. Hiya. Okay, he died. Don't these enemies remind you of like Rayman enemies? They very much remind me of an enemy that you would see in like Rayman. Just like drunkard man with bottle. All right, let's blow up this big zone right here. Blow up these guys. Uh oh. These guys right here are looking very power punchable. Let me get that water. Check this guy out. Somewhat Raymanish. It's Raymanishant of it. It's Raymanishant. There you go. That's a that is a uh, that's today's power pun. Brought to you by IKEA, a sponsor of the stream. Not really, but yes, they are. I would love to get an IKEA sponsorship for the stream. I would love to get any sponsorship, but especially one like that would be kind of weird. Like, this stream sponsored by, like, I don't know, just some random company. Just like, Safe Light is sponsoring this stream. I don't even know what they, what do they do, like, cars or something? Uh-oh. Okay, this is a, this looks like speedrun tech right here. I bet you could totally get up there in that way, but I'm not gonna bother. Because we don't have the life, we don't have the time, we don't have the water, we don't have anything. I'm not gonna- okay, just jumping over there seems like a bad idea. Actually, it's not that bad. Check this guy out. This Plants vs. Zombies reject. I should play Plants vs. Zombies on stream. Alright, I mean, that, that was a stream idea. 
I think it has to be done. I, I haven't played that game in a long time. I think there's a sequel to Plants vs. Zombies. I know there's like a third one that was like, it's like in beta testing or something still. Oh no, okay, there's mushrooms. Can I power punch off of the mushroom? That is the question. That is how I would get up here. No, you can't. So you can't do anything off of like in the air, which I already knew, but like I wanted to see if I could power punch maybe. You cannot. So how does one get that? Hmm. Like gen actually like how? Hmm. Can I break the mushroom then shoot up? Do the boomhauer thing. <laughs> wow, well, dang old, dang old boomhauer. Dang, old, there you go. I, I, I'm glad. I'm, I'm sure I did great. Oh no, Greg Daniels a disservice. Dang old boomhauer. Remember that time boomhauer just spoke normal. And there's an episode where, uh, where boomhauer. It's the fire episode where they're all in the firehouse, and then it's like they're all telling their own point of view of like what happened. Like the firehouse, they burn the firehouse down. Boomhauer, Hank, and, uh, Bill, and, uh, Dale. Yeah. And he's just like, Hank, can you guys, can you guys shut the hell up? It's like, Hank, you have to tell them or whatever. And then just everyone is, uh, speaking like Boomhauer. I forget what he says. He just says something that was like, can everyone shut the hell up? Coherent to Boomhauer is cursed. Also, that's probably one of the best bits on that show. <laughs> dang old, dang old, dang old Boom Man, Halloween Man. Dang old kids coming in. Like, Boom! I don't know. I can't, oh no! Alright, wait, wait, wait. What is the least valuable thing I have? This? Throw that stuff away. Give me that. Yeah, money. Look at that room full of cash over there. It's like the only time. I actually, you know, have space available. Is the time I can't actually get any of that stuff basically because like, it looks like I'll be full. Use for uranium. Bombs. And is for no survivors. I was vibing to some Gary come home earlier. Also, maybe this, maybe that thing I was th saying, the gimmick of how I can get up there. Maybe that's intended. Cause that looks like the area. Maybe I could put a ladder or something. Who knows, who cares? There's like a little secret and look at, look at all these secrets. Whack. Oh wow, that's the secret? Not much of a secret, is it? All right, well, we're gonna have to get rid of something. Let's just get rid of this because it's slightly less valuable than what we're going to be picking up. Give him the old Arthur fist. Whack. Nice. I just remembered uh, we don't actually have a way out of here. So we could try to go back up or we could just keep going down. Oh boy, let's just, uh, let's just yeet. Well, oh, good luck with that. Oh no. I'm going to, ow, I'm going to get, take unnecessary damage. Um, I'm going to make a pathway that I can get back up if I need to. Look at this. I don't even know what this is. It looks like it's, it looks like, oh no. It looks like it'd be expensive. Uh, I don't think I have anything I would want to get rid of. I mean, I'm going to assume this is more expensive. Yeah, it's about the same. Oh, well, actually there's two of them. So there we go. That was actually worth it. All right, time to jump down a hole that I don't know where it goes. Oh no. 
Okay, well, I really want to get that. But how do I go about doing that? How the hell am I supposed to get that? Okay, whatever. This is getting like progressively more rough as I'm trying to get through this zone. Honestly, it's not really even about getting through the zone. It's just I got to find a teleporter so I can get back. I guess this is why you buy them for moments like this specifically. Maybe I should buy one. Although it uses the blue mon like the blue currency, which I don't really want to waste. Bob the Builder, indeed. I'm opposite. I'm the opposite of Bob the Builder. I am Robert the Destructor. Okay, we were entering Blight Town apparently. Okay, am I gonna die as soon as I just? Okay, luckily fall damage doesn't exist there for some reason, even though it exists in the entire rest of the game. But in that moment, fall damage didn't exist for lore. Oh wow, what are, we're in like a spaceship right now. We're in the, the mothership. We're in the Spelunky ice level uh, when the UFO invasion happens. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I mean, that is clearly... Uh, that has to have value of some kind. Let's just get rid of this gold. 42. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Climbing like that. Yeah, well, you see, you just... You wall jump infinitely. That's how your climbing works. I'm afraid to just, f like, fall down the hole and die. Also, like, there's so much, like, st like, good stuff down here that I just can't take. You know, yeah, well, I mean, he is a robot. He can just, like, propel himself infinitely upward. Man, I really hope there is a uh, teleporter down here. Actually, at this point, I don't even think I can get out of this hole. So, I think I'm just at the whim of the game here. Also, why is there like a maze here? It's kind of a weird, weird part of this map. Okay, cool. We've entered. Return to town. Okay, there is a teleporter, I guess. Or there's a tube. In this space prison. I don't trust. I don't trust like that. I do not trust that at all. The fact that these guys take more than one hit from my fist. Oh wow, okay. Does he does this, does this one not take damage? No, it does. How do I Oh oh I see, I see how you return to town. Luckily I have steam, otherwise I would have been literally screwed. Oh god. Let me back into town, please, thank you. I reckon I have a lot of things to sell for y'all. But the mine goes deeper. Is that frost in your armor? How's that even possible? Right. Something's cooling down the earth. Okay, we made a ton of money. Which means we can buy lots of new stuff, like a new pouch, which would be very useful. Maybe even a bigger pouch. If we're feeling extra saucy. We should probably buy a teleporter just in case we need to. Just in case we have an emergency again. Buy your dynamite. What kind of other stuff you got? We can get a drill upgrade. Let's just get a pick upgrade. Because the drill's cool, but we know it's good. You know what I mean? Like, we might as well be upgrading our pick, which I, I'm hoping is just whatever pick I currently... I'm just going to assume it is whatever pick I'm currently holding. Does it look like the icon is changing? Alright, down the hatch in a second. Wait, is there a second hatch over here? Oh, yeah, I peered from this hatch. 
the second unmarked hatch. You've entered the Technic Zone. Wait, those regenerate? Oh no. Okay, they do take damage from regular means. They regenerate. I have a feeling this game is going to be pretty short. Like, I, I, it feels like a lot is ramped up. I've already entered, like, the space core. I've been playing for a few hours and I've entered, like, the core of space. Like, there, I can't- oh no. I can't be too, like, far off. I, I can't imagine. I, I- it feels like I've just started playing. But they've ramped things up so much that it's like Okay, I'm not gonna you know, I'm not gonna waste my drill Because like I feel like I'm gonna get stuck in an area where I'm gonna need the drill And I'd rather be able to use it than not use it Check out these spiked uh, evil things right here. These clearly like devious traps That will fall and try to crush me Unlike the, uh-oh, the thwomps of Mario. What's your favorite Mario enemy? What's your favorite, like, Mario enemy of all time? Do you want to increase the hydrate? Yeah, I, uh, I'm either going to increase hydrate or make it so that the timer... I'm going to, I might, I think what I'm going to do is add a, like a one minute cooldown between hydrates or something. Just so we can't just blow it up. Because there will be a time where it just will not work. There will be one time where it gets too much and then I will just, I will be unlazy enough to fix it. But that time is not today. Or at least not right now. I'm a f I'm partial to the uh, I'm partial to the chain chomp. I like the chain chomp as an enemy design. It's like a dog. It's such a weird design if you think about it, because it's just like a. I, I think there was a reason about why it is the way it is, because it is like a chained up dog. I, I think it was inspired by a chained up like dog barking at you. But it's also like. Uh, it's just like a ball with teeth. It's like a ball bearing with teeth. I guess it's because you couldn't really, like, render a dog very easily on, like, the NES. Uh, Shy Guys. It is funny how, like... Please don't kill me, Block. Shy Guys were not a uh, Mario enemy because they're a Doki Doki Panic enemy. But they're, like, the most Mario enemy ever now. Like, they're everywhere. Yay, okay, we got those. Yeah, Shy Fellow is cool. <laughs> Get punched on, idiot. Mar uh, Mario 2 had some banger enemies. Or, like, I guess Doki Doki Panic had some banger enemies. The giant eagle door. Do 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 Dun 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 Man, that game, that game's cool. I, I didn't really like that game as a kid because it was so different from, uh, I had the Game Boy Advance port. All right, well, uh, we're having hydrate. I don't have any water, so I have to go get water. <laughs> so, uh, now is the perfect time to go into, uh, Twitch settings and, uh, change the hydrate emote. Ninjis, ninjis are great. Yeah, it's crazy how many of those characters and like Doki Doki Panic was its own thing. Like I guess they just didn't care or maybe Nintendo paid for the characters or something to like use all the characters and other projects. I thought though for some reason I thought Doki Doki Panic was like a show or something and then like it was like a, that game was like based on it or something or was it just a game? Was it like just its own thing? 
Does anyone know particularly? All right. Guess what? Cooldowns. Redemption cooldown. There is now going to be a one. There'll be a one minute cooldown on redemptions. Let's see. There will be one minute between hydrates. Let me go grab some water. I'll be right back. back with water I've arrived hello oops I'm back hello huh <sighs> there appears to be lightning striking over and over again Why is my green screen like? <laughs> it's like just dark enough in the top. You can see that. It was weird. It's like just. There's like just enough light to be annoying. There we go. Okay. Hello. I'm back. Where the hell am I? Oh, this is the inside area. Okay. So does your name originate from tasty sweet ice cream? Matt Fun, dude. My name originates from my name, Matt. And, uh, delicious fondue. Delicious cheesy fondue. I've never had fondue. And I would like to try it. It always looks good. And I've had... Um, I've had melted cheese and I like melted cheese and like nacho cheese and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure I would enjoy it. Okay, I was just trying to see if I could die to these things. Oh, okay. The lasers. Oh, no. That did so much damage. I need to use the lasers to traverse this forbidden zone. Holy... Holy jeepers. Ow. Oh, okay, I'm going to die. Let me retreat back to town before I die. Yeah, we're not gonna... I'm not gonna die to that right now. I don't feel like dying two lasers at the current second. I don't want to put down my teleporter necessarily because I'm like right here. I can get back. I can get back to uh, the entrance and my light is now dying. Oh no. Oh, there's like a hundred enemies down there too. I just need like a, a 300 foot lateral leap to get up here. Okay, we're actually doing fine. I mean, there's a laser at the end here. 
She's probably gonna, I was gonna say could snipe me. But we're okay. Let's hydrate. In a way, this game is all about hydration, if you think about it. Steam World Dig, you needed water to do anything. Improved hydraulics, look at that. This game is basically hydration in the game. You buying anything? I'd like nothing more than to buy some health. Thank you. Thank you kindly. The platinum pick. The platinum pick. Hell yeah. Look at that. The platinum pick. We should get the upgrade, the tank upgrade. There's like every upgrade is, is a good upgrade, to be honest. Look how fast I can run. Any upgrade is a good upgrade in my book, unless it's bad, but they're all pretty, they all seem good. Man, if I get a full sprint going, I really am going. Also, I was looking, so because I beat Hollow Knight, um, I was looking at other Metroidvania games to play, because I'm a big Metroidvania fan. I mean, I probably should just play Metroid Dread. I'm not a huge me like the funny thing is I'm a big Metroidvania fan Keyword on like the Vania part. I'm not as big into Metroid. I'm sure it is a great game Um, I probably should play it But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see Um Metroid but uh Metroidvania games. I'm big fan of and I've played all the like, I've played Ari of Sorrow, I've played all the DS Metroidvania games and all that stuff. I'm looking for a new thing. There's this game, uh, which I had to look at the name. It has a weird name. It's on Steam. Okay, well, rip that. It's on Steam and people are recommending it and I might check it out. Let me look at what it's called, actually. You know what? I don't have time. It's called something. It's called something. It has a weird name. It's a metroidvania Because I would have to like look through my wish list and all that that's effort That I don't want to take right now speaking of Things I don't want to take I don't want to take as much damage as I'm taking From these laser beams All right life hack check that out Don't have to follow you don't have to follow the rules of the game you make your own rules, you play by your own rules, and you get red gold. Red sugar. Oh yeah, red sugar. Man, I could, I could play, uh... I could be out here playing Deep Rock Galactic on stream. Another miney game. Another hit, hit, hit rocky get fun game. I hit Rocky, don't get cocky. I do also want to play some GBA games and stuff. But new games are cool. I, I always find that I end up playing, like, the same games. The same, like, handful of games I played as a kid over and over again instead of new games. If you ain't rocking stone, you ain't coming home. Or if you don't rock in stone. Oh yeah, rock in stone. I streamed that game very early on in my streaming re my my new streaming career, because I had an old streaming career back in the way way heyday. But back in the this new streaming, um I played it with Ryan on stream. And uh yeah, that was, uh, I really didn't like it. Like, I didn't get, well, I also, ha I didn't own it. I had it on Game Pass, Deep Rock Galactic, by the way. It's $50 on Steam. Great game. I would check it out if you're interested. If you're interested in grindy-esque games, like a, uh, almost Monster Hunter-esque kind of a grind. Uh, cooperative. Uh, games that are cooperative for players, or, like, you can play solo mining things like this it's kind of like this where it's like you're mining stuff and getting like loot and then doing you're doing missions 
and you're bringing it back and then you're upgrading your character and you're fighting you're fighting stuff it's hard to describe but it's very fun and for $15 you can't go wrong it's a pretty good game also you know what other game is just always $15 which is insane to me uh just hollow knight just hollow knight is a $15 game and that game is fantastic and it has like four it has like four dlcs that are all like free and include it with that $15 and it's insane like that game is fantastic like they really were out here just blasting a game like just the most fire game they could come up with all right this is a uh yeah, we take that hit. This is a spot where I'm going to put down a teleporter. Because we're so deep in this cave, I know we're going to get loot that we're going to want to sell. That seems like a valid spot. Swift pickaxe, nice. Let's buy some health. I don't really want to buy another teleporter. Here's the swift. Oh, we 100% want... Mega pickaxe speed. You already know that's what we're taking. Play with who you're comfortable with. I'm not even in, I'm not even sure what that was in reference to, but you know what? I agree. Improve. Oh wow. Okay, that seems really useful. But we need blue things and all that because we could actually use the pick. Um, we could actually use the uh, drill more. If it used less fuel. Yay! Get blown up, you fool. I've fooled him. Check out these two fools right here. They've been foolish. Alright, cool. This is a, it's a weird game because it's like random. It seems like it's procedurally generated areas and then weird little mini puzzle dungeons like this Which that would be okay. Like I mean, I would love to have all this healing if I needed it Which I don't right now Kind of reminds me of breath of the wild temples Like the puzzle temples that game was very cool I, I never beat it. Um, I played a lot of it. And uh, that game was very cool. I enjoyed, I mean, I really enjoyed doing the puzzles and all that stuff. I wish it was. Oh my goodness! More the prophecy oh my is God. true! It's hard. Everyone's getting the resubs in today. Hello, Harms. What the dig doing? What's up, Harms? We're digging, we're dugging. Yo, shout outs to Dig Dug. One of, like, a few arcade style games that I actually think is legitimately fun because a lot of like early arcade because a lot of early arcade games kind of blow like you know what Galaga Galaga's good Galaxian that game is trash have you guys played Galaxian it's like a poor man's Galaga and I I think I don't know that the the lore because like I'm pretty sure one of those games came out before the other and they ripped maybe maybe uh, Oh wow mineral detector Maybe uh, Galaga came out and ripped off Galaxian or whatever But Galaxian kind of kind of bad game, you know Dig dug on the other hand kind of fire The decision to make the music stop when you stop moving genius Oh, you can see thank you honestly harms. Thank you for pointing out um, That you can see them on the map because I was like I genuinely didn't know what this thing did I thought it was gonna make a noise and I just gave up on guessing on what it would do So, <laughs> so thank you for pointing that out because I wouldn't have noticed Because I was just not paying attention Get fisted on you fister Okay, well there cl is clearly a secretive secret up here a furtive secret I have an idea. All right. All right. This is kind of next-gen 
This is kind of galaxy brain thinking. You might need, you might need to like a, I, I don't know if you guys watch Rick and Morty or not, but you know, I, I just watched, I just listened to the audio of the episodes every night before bed. And that's just how I got to this point. They call me galactic brain. Also, um, there appears to be another secret up here. All right, let's see if I can use my, uh, let's see if I can use my training. I'm going to assume that it's maybe this. I should be, I'm, I'm a level designer. I should be making the levels, you know? All I'm saying is that I don't even think, I don't think uh, Twitch, I don't think the bitrate can handle the the levels my, my brain is thinking at. I think if it tries to keep up, it's going to crash all of Twitch. <laughs> Continue exploring. Fair enough. I, I like how this, I think this area is like purposefully designed just to make people feel like they're smart like I am. Because it's just, it's, it's so clearly obvious what to do. Yo, this man is dummy smart. All right, well, I, I thought it was something. It probably was uh, something to do with the other roof tile. And I probably do want to get this. I'm going to go attempt to get this. Hit every wall you meet. Look at that. Hit every wall you meet because you never know. You might just get blue balls. All right, we got some stuff to trade in. Honestly, kind of a nice TP because we can trade in a lot of resources right here. Get a lot of cash. All right, what was our other free? We can get... We really want to get this. We can't get it yet, though. Uh, more water would be nice. More health would be nice. A bigger pouch to hold stuff would be nice. I guess let's get the lower... Let's get the less expensive upgrades first, because we can get both of them. And then we can get some of the more expensive stuff. I reckon... I reckon I'm gonna whack you with my pickaxe. Oh, I got a sudden urge to play like a uh, mystery dungeon. What are those games called? What is the actual game? There's a... The mystery dungeon game. There's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And then there's spin-off ones like Persona Q or whatever. What is that series called? The the actual game. There, there's an actual game. And then the those Pokemon games are spin-off of that type of game. Oh wow, there's a tel I there's a teleporter right here. That was a never mind, I take it back. That was a terrible spot for me to put my own teleporter. There was literally one right here, but who could have known? I love the eardrum grinding ha he sound. I love that new funky mode. Man, Donkey Kong Country honestly is out here being extremely tough still in current year. You know what I mean? Like those games are intimidating for me to play because I didn't I play them as a kid. Like, I had them, um, and I beat one, and I played three. I never actually, I didn't have two. I played the Game Boy ports as well, but I actually beat one, which is insane to me as a kid. Like, how, how am I going to be beating Donkey Kong Country 1? That game is actually tough. Um, also, we're going to just prank this guy real quick. Never mind, I was pranked. I thought I was going to be the pranker and I've been the pranky.
But uh, yeah, those games are actually like legitimately hard. And you know what? Tropical Freeze? That game's hard too. That game is actually straight up difficult. And you, people were joking about that new funky mode where they added Funky Kong where you can just basically you're, you're like immune to all damage. You can just surfboard around. You know what? If you're like a little child, like I, when I was young, I was playing Mario 3 on the Game Boy Advance. I was playing the port because I had Mario 3 on NES and I'm like, oh, yay, Mario. Like, I, I just my brain wasn't fully formed enough to even be able to like complete some of those levels like like you, you straight up just don't have the hand eye coordination like available in your brain to beat these levels. Hello, Mario. Harms is having a formal conversation with Mario in the chat. Just, hello, Mario. Nice to meet you. I'm a big fan. What what country does Mario represent at the Olympics when he goes to the Olympics? And I guess Sonic too, but isn't Sonic a... What's the name of their dumb world they live on? In the Sonic universe, they have a dumb... It has like a dumb name. Yeah, Mario's playing for the Cayman Islands. Because he has a tax haven there. Well, I mean, I've committed to this already. There we go. Mar well, okay, Mario represents the Mushroom Kingdom, but the Mushroom Kingdom isn't like a country. Uh, what is the thing in... What is the thing in, uh... Also, wait, wouldn't Mario represent the USA? Because he's from, like, Brooklyn? Or does he have a citizenship in the Mushroom Kingdom? It's better than Brooklyn. Ow, oh, ow. Okay, I wasn't hoping I would get hit by that. Also, um... Oh, no. What is the name of, uh... What is the name of the planet that all the Sonic people, like... In Sonic 3 or whatever, Mobius. It's Mobius, that's what it is. I think, right? Am I correct on that? Do we have any Sonic lore in the chat? Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Man, the Sonic- Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games are such a weird- that's such a weird series. I was so- I was so excited for those games too. Were you guys like hyped like- uh, when the Mario, when the first Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games was coming out, I was so hype. Because I don't know why, I was just like hyped up. It's like, finally, Mario and Sonic can like battle it out at table tennis. I got it for Christmas and I was so excited. And then I played it and I was like, this kind of blows. Also, if I didn't have, uh, if I didn't have, uh, steam, I guess I would have just died there. I guess I would have just been screwed. This whole area is kind of like that. I mean, I guess there's probably a way out with those things. But whatever, this whole area, this area sucks. Peace. Yeah, that way. That, so Mario and Sonic travels through the real world. Because it's literally the Sochi Olympic, like it's the actual Olympics of that year. That brings up, that brings up a really good question of like, so they both travel through like a time warp or like a dimensional rift. Like, how are they getting there? <laughs> shoutouts to, uh, shoutouts to Sonic X, the Saturday morning cartoon. Well, actually, there's Sonic Sat AM, which is the Saturday morning one. But, uh... Yeah, shoutouts to, uh, Sonic cartoon lore. I used to watch, um, I was so, so, like, kids these days, 
they don't know how lucky they are for video game content because when I was young now it's, this is gonna be the most boomer thing ever by the way so just be prepared when I was young I was uh I didn't have any kind of video game content to watch and uh, I was watching I didn't have G4 my uh, one of my relatives had G4 and I would, when I went to their house, I would watch G4, and it was like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Sonic Sad AM, where he listens to Bart Wave, in, indeed. Yeah. But I didn't have any video game content, and I had dial-up. And I was like, not watching videos, because it would take like an hour to render, or like to like, play one video. But anyway... Oh! Oh no. I took so much damage. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I, I kinda lost- Oh yeah, so I would, uh, I would go to Blockbuster. And they had the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. They had like, two episodes of that show on VHS. Well, they had two VHSs of the show that had like, a couple of episodes on them each. Also, was I supposed to run through that? I guess I was. And, um... I watched those, and I'm like, yes! The Super Mario Brothers Super Show. That was a good show, though. Oh, whatever. I made it through. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And the Legend of Zelda cartoon. I had some of that going on. But I was too, uh, like, I also had vague memories of Kirby right back at you and Sonic X. Because those were on, like, the CW Kids or something. But in the morning. Okay, we got a dash. Oh, yeah, right now we're dashing? Okay. Okay, now we've unlocked the double jump. Okay, well, okay, this makes the game way better. <laughs> now I can... Oh, you gain... I guess it's based on how much... Wait, is it based on like how much static you have? Well, whatever. Now, now I can like mega jump everywhere, and this makes the game epic. Can you static jump through those? Is the question. I'm so lost. Oh, this guy's about to get murdered. Nope, I am about to get murdered. Double jumping, kind of pog. But yeah, Kirby right back at you in those shows. Um, I really wanted to watch them. The problem was they only aired like on Saturday mornings. In the morning, like at 8 a.m. And I'm not getting up at 8 a.m. to watch cartoons. Can I cheese this? We can cheese it. We, can we just cheesed it, boys. It ain't easy being cheesy. Uh, I was watching a streamer the other day who I'm uh, following Who is someone that someone I'm following follows because you know, it's one of those Situations where I'm following someone that Someone I follow it's it's you know twitch um And uh, they're streaming Sly Cooper Two and that game is cool. Well, two specifically, I don't know about as much because I played I played one, then I played three. I don't know uh, because I think three had just come out. Also, none of those are what I thought. I remember waking up Saturday morning cartoons and falling asleep after the first show. Yeah, vibe. Oh. Uh. It is funny that there's some shows that are like hidden, sh like some shows from like your childhood where it's like, or at least the, this is how I feel, where I used to watch them and they were like rare shows, like shows that they would never air and you'd catch like one episode or it was like an old show and it was probably shows that they were trying to like get off of the air, like it was shows that they were uh, either old reruns that no one cared about or like shows they didn't care, yeah. 
they did not care about. Um, but then you'd be like, like robot, whatever happened to Robot Jones? Like a show like that, where it's like, I never saw that show except for like a few times. And same thing kind of with Chalk Zone. It's like I only saw that show a few times. And I'm like, what is this show? What is this forbidden show that I'm like not allowed to see? Nickelodeon in the Netherlands was a mess. What, what shows did you have? They probably had weird syndicated shows too. That like we didn't have. Alright, there must be- the secret has to be relatively close to this zone. In order to get up there. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Well, I, now I have flying circus leaps. The game told me to keep exploring, I cannot. I can't do the game like that. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, give me them. Give me them marbles, there we go. But yeah, there was just like weird shows that you would like never see. And then there was also, th th there's a similar subgenre of shows. Um, the I was home from school sick shows, like the sick day shows where you would watch like baby Looney Tunes or whatever. You would watch like a uh, baby Looney Tunes. Cause it was on. That was like one of those like rare shows cause you were homesick. Is this not breaking the wall? I feel like this is the secret here. This really feels like this would be the secret. Ow. Maybe it isn't I guess. Anyone remember a hundred ninjas? Oh Hmm Is that the show? I wonder if that was the show um, hero one one oh eight or whatever that show Anyone remember that one for kids show where all the characters were ball-shaped animals like a ball-shaped bunny and a penguin? I actually don't Oh man, four kids. Four kids. I want it. Like, I mean, four kids is great and terrible at the same time because, like, they're a terrible dubbing company with, like, horrifically bad adaptations. But, you know, it's kind of nostalgic. And what's funny is, like, um, the thing with four kids is, like, I watched um, my first anime that I ever like saw also there's a secret up here I guess oh yeah I can see it vaguely uh wow okay I'll take that 300 any day of the week was one piece oops well actually sorry it was yeah it might have been one piece it was one piece because they would air it in the morning yeah, Hero 108 was what it was. Yep, I remember Hero 108. That was another one of those morning shows you would watch in the morning. Need light. Oh god, it's so bad. There was like a bunny person and like a bunch of other random stuff. That was a cool show. I only- I remember watching like bits and pieces of it before like I had to go to school. I would just see like part of an episode. And like the next day I would see like oh they added new people. I'm like wow this show's crazy. Reminds me of Shaolin Showdown a little bit. Shaolin Showdown was probably another one. I think that was a CW show too. I, I think that was another one of those shows where it's like man this show's really cool when it's on but like I never knew when it was going on. And I think it was on the CW. I don't think it was on Cartoon Network. But then there's some shows that were like on the CW, like Johnny Test, that later became Cartoon Network shows, or like got picked up by Cartoon Network, and that's like a Canadian studio or something. But like, that blew my brain. 
because I was like, I've already seen, there was like this new show is coming out and it's like, I already seen this, but I couldn't, I didn't know. Oh, Jake Long, American Dragon, Kim Possible, yeah. Disney Channel used to have some banging shows. Also, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. I was always an Avatar The Last Airbender fan. I've been out here. That show is great. Day one. Uh, oh god, The Wayside. Foster's Home was great. I think I vaguely remember The Wayside. My gym partner is a monkey. Yeah, no, that, I mean... The Last Airbender, always been fantastic. Uh, great show. The problem was, back in the day, uh, it was a show, they would air, like, they would, that's, that is so BS, by the way. Do you see what's happening? There's a laser on top of that platform, like, inside that other block. Oh no, this is why I should have I should have brought the teleporter and I told myself this every time Because now I'm going to die a pitiful death At the hands well, maybe I can get healing from this guy over here That was so dumb League of Super Evil, I thought was pretty, like, I didn't like it that much. Oliver Tree? Oh, the ri- yeah. Bling bling boy. You mean bling bling boy? You just say some weird kid. My man just called bling bling boy some weird kid. Not- oh man. No culture at all. Also, I just lost so much money, like, right now. I can't even, like, think about how much I just lost. Like... Genuinely, I think I lost because I lost like half of what I had and I had like uh, probably a thousand something I just lost so much from that dumb encounter Bling bling boy Bop 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 Well at least it's quick to get back down to where I died horrifically and lost all of my value. Just losing all, all value. I'm going to assume I went in there. I went really far. I bet, I bet the worst part is I'm going to turn around. There's going to be a uh, teleporter like right next to my corpse. Yeah, no, Foster's Home was a great show. That was a really good show. I liked it a lot. There we go. Nice. I'm wondering if the sequel, because people are saying the sequel is more of a Metroidvania, which means I'm wondering if the sequel is like not randomly generated like this as much or when it's like actually generated like terrain. Whoa. No room. I have no room for my loot. Uh, at least all my ruby. Actually, looks like all my rubies survived. All right. Well, time to throw away uh, a stack of stuff that's probably less. I was gonna say that's yeah. It was less valuable. That's okay. Remember when you said sequel was a Metroidvania for a second, and then you said, "Oh yes, the sequel to Foster's Home was a Metroidvania." It's pretty, pretty pog. It's kind of crazy that a TV show had a, a an interactive Metroidvania sequel. Do you guys remember Dave the Barbarian? That show was actually pretty good too. That was another one of those like forbidden shows that they like stopped airing. Dave the Barbarian. Oh, okay. I'll just take a, uh, wow. Just give me a straight up $300 ruby right here. Fair enough. They're just giving me cash right here. I'll check that comment in a second. I just want to like, you know what? 
We're putting a teleporter down. We're gonna put a teleporter down. I, I know I'm gonna find another one, but it's okay. Dave, the barbarian. D -d -d barbarian. Oh, we unlocked a game. Oh, do we unlock gambling? Okay, this game might be a 10 out of 10. We might be able to. We might be able to bet it all now. Gargantuan pouch. Wait a second. I do believe. Let's see. Impeccable wares. Okay. Well, maybe he's just selling stuff. Okay, never mind. He's just another upgrade seller. Which is cool, but at the same time, it's like, how many upgrades can I get? Is that even better? Is is there is the gimmick here that like there's a bunch of different upgraders that are like competing? Like I don't understand Camp Laszlo. Yeah, that show is good. Drillomatic. I guess it's just the next step up. Super tank, thick armor, improved. I probably should get this. So I can actually use the drill more. Extra water seems pretty good too, to be honest. If I'm gonna be using this drill more. Water seal probably pretty good too. Getting a better drill would also make sense. Getting a new pouch makes sense because now I'm rolling in dough. Camp Laszlo. Yeah, Camp Laszlo was pretty good. People don't like that show. People really, like I thought people liked that show. People apparently don't like that show. Like on the, well, I guess maybe there's probably like two people, schools of thought now where it's like, people don't like that show and then people who like that show or whatever. I liked Camp Lazo a lot. I just remember seeing comments later on where people were like, yeah, all the Cartoon Network was just showing that Camp Lazo reruns, that bad show. And I'm like, I thought people liked that show. I liked it. Who knows? Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. See, the funny thing is, I don't think I'm doing damage. Oh my god. That was just dumb. Anyway, we have a drill now. And look at this, the drill actually is like, we can actually just kind of use it. The main characters kind of stinks. Yeah, he, he was just Spongebob, to be honest. Lazlo just kind of being Spongebob. You know what show is fantastic? And it rhymes with, it rhymes with louder. See if you can guess. All right, I'm just trying to see if I can kill it. Why, why is it showing that I'm doing damage to this thing? If they don't take damage. <laughs> Chowder, I'm going to jump over here and then immediately die. No, Chowder is great. Flapjack is also great. Apparently people didn't like Flapjack either. When it was like airing, I don't know what is like, I don't know what Cartoon Network these people were watching. That they're like, no, they didn't like Ch Chowder. They didn't like, well, I think, I think everyone liked Chowder for the most part. I don't think that was like a big controversy. Like, what are they, like, what are they talking about? People were really out here just hating on Flapjack. And I think they did, honestly. I think some people were hating on Chowder because they're like, these shows are too weird. It's like, no, they're really funny and uh, have a cool art style. And some people were like, the art's bad. And I'm like, bruh. The Chowder. We've got a tr we have a tr quad thousand jumps. Oh yeah, Courage the Coward. Shows the Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, I can't watch the Return of the Slab episode because I start peeing uncontrollably out of fear. I start vomiting and pissing all over the floor. Uh, yes, Stephen Chowder, my favorite pundit. Chowder, we have to go on the internet. Someone's giving us a bad name. 
coke by the book. No. Remember that time? Remember that time, uh, Mung Dol had to pass, get his certificate in cooking and he couldn't boil water properly because he was too in his own head about it. I feel that. I felt that. You know, Mung, he's got, he's got that imposter syndrome. You know what? He was a good, he was a good cook, you know? He, in the end, like, they showed it, like, he, he could cook, you know? Rada, rada. Rada. Man, that's a great show. He's got sussy baka syndrome. Did you guys see there's a big Among Us update where they add it like, it's so funny because it's like, guys, look, Among Us added roles now. And it's like, cool, that's what I was asking for. But the thing is, you know what other games have roles? Every single other game that was Among Us before Among Us that has more features than Among Us. I mean, it's cool that they're adding stuff. It's just, it's, it's a little silly. But I'm interested in trying it again. It, that game is terrible to play with random people, though. Like, it is genuinely, like, really unfun. But if I was playing it with my friends, like, my when that game was big, everyone had it, too. Because you could just play on your phone, too. So, like, you could just play with people who don't normally game. Which was a big appeal of that game, I think. You could just play with anyone. And it's very simple, and everyone kind of got it. And that was a lot of fun. But yeah, you Among Us. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Have you played the the Family Guy update in Among Us? Very rock and roll, Peter. The Joe Swanson. Which would you get? Pokemon Joe Swanson or Pokemon Quagma Glenn Quagmire? And then Pokemon Peter is the the platinum of those of that series. Which one would you get? I guess you could get Pokemon. I guess you could get the spin-off Pokemon Cleveland, but it ain't. That's not it. Does Joe evolve? I mean, I I think yeah, sure. We'll go with that. He did evolves in a Pokemon game. I never ever like ever got into Digimon because like. I, uh, I never, like, saw it. I think that was, again, I think that was another thing that was on the CW. <laughs> like, I never really, like, saw it anywhere, so I couldn't get into it. Also, I just got a, I just found a diamond. We just mine diamonds. I'll mine them. Nice. Time to drill. All right, I really can't be using my drill all that much. Glenn Quagmire becoming a toilet with that song is one of the greatest memes of our generation. Also, like the 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 poop fart sound effect with the reverb, with like the dramatic music. I think it's I think it's like under uh, not Undertale, sorry, uh, Earthbound. I think it's like. Tur -tur -tur -tur. I think it's like the Earthbound, uh, song. Fantastic meme. Heavenly. A heavenly meme. This area sucks, and I'm going to die. Well, I hit right. Did I hit the bottom of the map? Because I just got an achievement that says rock bottom. Ugh, 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 Spongebob, me boy. This area sucks, and I'm going to die. I didn't honestly didn't know I could kill these guys. I mean it makes sense Upon thinking about it for more than two seconds. It makes complete sense that I would be able to But I didn't think about it For that long ow Stop stop Da da Yes, no Yes, no Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Undertale, I love the part in Undertale where that game is actually good, but the fan base made people not want to play it. 
That's a good part of that game. The part in Undertale where like it's genuinely kind of like a fun earthbound inspired experience that's neat and has clever writing and whatnot and is a cool game but sans funny skeleton haha -ha. wouldn't it be funny if sans said uh oh i had a diaper issue that would be funny same thing with um friday night funkin is getting kind of rough like and this is fine or whatever because like you don't need to like gatekeep i guess a community of people but friday night funkin is uh cool like the game is really cool conceptually and like it's a, gonna be a cool game and i backed it on kickstarter um the only thing is like that game's community is kind of silly because it's literally like really small children but it's because they play it on their like Chromebooks in school because you can. So it makes sense. Dude, one time I was playing Undertale and I cried. Hyper realistic tears. When San said, uh, I felt that. When Papyrus did, uh, I felt that too. Can you can you just tell me why that just happened? Can someone explain to me why I just got hit by a thing that fell onto my head like that? If just anyone could explain to me what just happened there, that would be ideal. I slammed my Daffy Duck in the car door. He slammed his Daffy Duck in the car door. You know what another funny meme is like uh, like this funny like the a funny sh post is uh the persona invented jazz music kind of meme cuz i guess persona is uh i guess persona this that series cuz persona is great by the way um i guess that series is like an introduction for a lot of people into like jazz esque music so there's a lot of comments on traditional jazz videos and stuff of people just being like, this sounds like Persona. It's pretty funny. That's a pretty funny. Then I bled hyper-realistic blood everywhere and everyone was scared. And I said, it was me all along. I was Mario and you are now me and you are trapped in the game and I am free to I hope your family likes spaghetti dinner And then Mario was he stole my place and my the he I was the game and he was in my family room and he said to my family, he said, let's -a go, but it was my voice that came out. And he said, he looked at the screen and he said, I hope she made lots of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. And then his eyes went hyper-realistic red. And then he unhinged his jaw and ate my brother whole, which was actually kind of hot. It's like, man, this creepypasta is really taking a turn. Also, I just made so much money. Super armor. Do you think there's a creepypasta? I'm sure there is. Where there's a creepypasta where it's clearly like they got sidetracked and just immediately just like, were like. <laughs> yeah, it's just they got sidetracked and they just made it kind of like a, their own like kink thing. It's like. Then Mario, like, held me down, and he said, Let's go! In slow motion. But he was kinda, he was kinda cute. Mario said, I'm going to kill you, cutely. Mario said cutely, I'm going to kill you. Kinda cringe. Getting eaten by Mario as he unhinges his jaw to bore you is kinda cringe. 
Okay, I'm getting so many up- I'm getting like so upgraded at this point, I can just fly around here and do crazy stuff. The drill- better drill upgrade? Hell yeah. Better this upgrade? Hell yeah. Better punch? Honestly, a better punch would be kind of cool. But better pickaxe again? Hell yeah. Diamond sword to Major Steve. And then a 10 foot tall goth lady threw me up against the wall, shattering all my bones, turning me into paste. And then I said, kind of cringe. I said ground control to Major Steve. I think I just need to explore. Do 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 Dora. I never liked Dora, even as a young, as a youngling. I was just never into it. It was just weird. It would be sort of hot. <laughs> Unless. I have such a, I have such like bad hobby. Like, I, I this is how I am in life. I just jump around things a lot. And I can never play. That's why I'm a variety streamer, because I can't. I don't have the attention. I don't have the attention to be playing the same thing or doing the same thing all the time for like months at a time. Like, I have to be doing something different. Aren't those half blocks breakable? Some of them are. Uh. These ones? These ones are. I mean, some of the things are. These aren't. These are not breakable. Yeah. Well, anyway. No, there was... In one of the rooms, they were breakable because I, like... Um... One of the rooms, they were breakable because I, uh... There was, like, a broken... It was, like, cracked. Uh... But yeah, I, I, I can't play the same thing over and over again and well at least back to back and like I need I need variety in my life But uh, same thing with my hobbies like I bought a bunch of stuff to make shadow box art and I'm going to do it I have it on my desk It's just like I, I got sidetracked because I got really into it and I wanted to do it and then all the material that I bought got delayed in shipping for like a million years so like I kind of got less hype about it over time but I'm gonna do it it'll be cool um th but that works for other stuff too like I was looking at the uh other day and I'm like I should write a fan fiction just for the fun of it or like a creepypasta as a meme just like write something and I'm like why would I spend all my time like learning how to like why would I do that <laughs> like why would I sit there and write something like that if I'm I'm like I'm like an art guy like oh, I'll do like art or whatever and like design and that kind of stuff and I should probably focus on that because it's like I do design and art and that kind of stuff why would I like try to learn how to write like a thing I mean it's you can just do it for fun but like why would I like do that if I'm already doing other stuff, why wouldn't I use that? Like, why wouldn't I make a picture or something? I don't know. Also, like, making games and stuff was fun. I took some classes on that. Um, also, what the hell? So, just making projects, but, like, I don't have the patience to, like, sit down and make something crazy. Secret. Yeah, check that out. Also, I have a speaker that I ordered um, that was supposed to arrive November 1st, and it just says on the order, it just says delayed TBD. Just like, in, it's just indefinitely delayed for like ever. Yeah, I got, sp I got Pelosi. No, I just got a, like a, I got like a, a speaker for audio so I can listen to music. Like a cool guy. Like a cool music listener guy. One of those guys. You know those kind of guys who listen to music? What do you do in your free time? Well, I like uh, hanging out with my friends and listening to music. That's what makes me unique. Yeah. 
a, f a fellow music enjoyer? I know someone who doesn't like music, which is a weird thing to say. I don't understand how you cannot like all of music. Like, you would think there would be a song. I mean, I'm sure there are songs they like, but they just, they just say they don't like music in general. And I'm like, I mean, I guess, but it just seems like something, I feel like everyone likes some kind of music or noise. I just bro that, I just brought that guy with my drill right there. Okay, wait, did I go into this room? I think I did. Yes, I did. It's this puzzle. Ah, uh, yes, a fellow music enjoyer, I see. Oh, wow, jumping into them with my static actually kills them. That's cool. Time to never use that mechanic. Yo, girl. I like listening to music. Oh, girl, see my friend over there? He likes things that fit his preference for sounds, you know. He likes listening to, uh, cuttlefish eating ASMR mukbang, where you eat a hundred cuttlefish. That's his, that's his vibe. That's like his, that's his Sinatra. That's his beetle. That's his Hey Jude is a, a wo woman eating 45 pounds of live fish. If they're not alive, I can't get, I get all, I mean, relax. I can't relax if uh, the fish they're eating aren't alive. Do, 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 do. Dark web, dude, this is dark web. Dark web at 3 a.m. I should make a three, I should call someone at 3 a.m. Should I call Freddy Fazbear at 3 a.m. and see what happens? I just love conceptually the videos where it's like they call, like, first of all, how can you be mad at the 3 a.m. videos? Because like, they're just for good fun. I feel like for the most part, they're just for good fun. Um, They're clearly fake, obviously. But like some of them are like calling Freddy Fazbear at 3 a.m. It's like calling a fictional character at 3 a.m. Like, how do they get his number? Also, it's just like Freddy has a phone. Who's his carrier? Also, we're going to I mean, I should probably I'm going to buy the, the hyper drill just because it has hyper in the name. It sounds cool. Uh, I'm a little confused on where to go. I should probably head back here and then just work my way down again from the top because maybe I'll find something I missed. Plus, I have the, the cool cool guy drill now. Look at this. If you didn't think I was cool before, just look at me now. Missing. Ordering a bagel at 3 a.m. You will not believe what happens next. That is so rude that they would put water there for me, knowing I can't get it. Get picked on. This reminds me of my Dark Souls just now that I'm thinking about it, just like using my pick as a weapon. Okay. Pick on them. Pick on them. When you miss completely. Calling my friend at 3 a.m., but he lives in a different time zone, so it's 2 a.m., and he picks up, and we have a friendly conversation. Gone sexual. Man, I kind of, honestly, I really liked prank calls and like doing prank calls, I guess, and just doing really silly prank calls. But like, I can't justify in my current life prank calling anyone, unless it's friends. But also, no, first of all, no one's gonna pick up because they're gonna think you're a robo dialer. But like, I can't justify prank calling like a service worker or something because like their day sucks already. Unless, I mean, unless you could do it in a funny way where, like, they would enjoy it, but, like, it's not worth the, the risk. Oh, man. John, that John Cena prank video, which is one, fake. 
I believe. Like, it's one of those radio DJ whatever things. It's just a funny, like, bit. Like, the writing is funny. That was so funny. Like, I, I got that, I caught that early, and I thought it was the funniest video. And, like, I showed people with my family, and they also thought it was really funny. Like, that was, that was great. Ugh. Well, I'm just, at this point, I'm just, I'm just grinding my gear right now, just getting some money. Uh, with this, like, gear finder and, like, these upgrades I have, it's, it's never been easier to just mine anything I want. We're really just out here, just, you know, we can go anywhere we want, we can drill anywhere we want. The world is our oyster. See, we can even get into areas that we normally couldn't access. Uh... Yeah, no, the thing is with this game... I don't know where to go. And it's probably my fault. But at the same time, it's like... It is kind of a bro moment. Also, is my pick... I can't tell if my pick is better than my drill? At this current juncture? Well, here we go. We got lo we leveled up again. <laughs> Hydraulic fluid. Nice. Hello there, my friend. Unfathomable tank. It is a insano tank. Which also would be pretty good. Plasma lantern would also be pretty good. Here's the hydraulic fluid. Okay, that's pretty cool. I will raise you that, and then maybe a maybe a pouch would just be good, so I can be better. Well, pick two. Let's get a pick. So now we can pick and drill. Like honestly, I mean, there's like reason to use either of them. Yeah, let's get the pick, and then we can just mine really quick. We'll get the old pick and quick classic. So now that we have this, we can mine really fast and then just fill up our bag and then turn it in. Okay, I was gonna say, these things uh, were not attacking me. Yo, shows to a Minecraft moment. You know, it's a, you know what is kind of a Minecraft moment? The fact that, like, I'm so, like, it feels like I've maybe over leveled at this point. Because I feel like I almost have like every upgrade in the game. And also, it does feel like the game is wrapping up. Because, like, there's how many more vendors could I possibly get? Also, I'm going sicko mode. Okay. Continue on. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Here's where the drill is uh, used, by the way. So, I mean, the drill upgrades are still worth it, because I think they are one... I think it's also technically faster. That's about the same speed. But, they're useful for when I actually need them specifically. Yes. Drill, mine, mine. Mine, mine, mine the cave. Gently steal the loot. Okay, there is a, uh... A zone right here. Have I been in here? Yep, I did that one. I distinctly remember that one because it was silly. Actually, I had a bit of a. I probably should have read the dialogue. I'm at a little bit of a loss of where I need to actually go, but at the same time, I mean, I'm getting that loot, so we're making progress either way. Maybe I'll find. Maybe this is the thing I need to go into. No, I think I did this. Yeah, I did. Oh, you know what? Maybe, uh... Okay, the secret is in here somewhere. Oh, you know what? The secret probably was in one of these spots that I didn't dig to, maybe? Or, perhaps, the secret is over here. Now, isn't that the IQ that we want to see? Look at that. Do -do -do -do. Wah, wah, 
All right, well, there's no like easy teleport out. So let's just go back up, I guess. Or sideways. I mean, going up is like, that's the toughest part. <laughs> Mega mind moment. Oh, no. That movie has a weird inconsistent joke where he's like, I guess Mega Mind, they're both from like a, another planet, like Superman origin story. Um, so Mega Mind, like, it's like he doesn't understand our culture, which also was weird because he was grown up. He grew up on Earth. Both of them like grew up as babies. Anyway, but like they have this joke where it's like Mega Mind, he doesn't understand. Like he says Olo instead of hello. It's like, but why? Why that? Why is that the only thing? And they only do it like once. There is another gem in there, but we don't need it. Where we're going, we don't need it. Oh, I saw the gem. Also, it's so much harder to like go up. So let's just keep going down. Or at least let's go sideways, maybe. Get that sideways progression. Uh, I'm genuinely confused on where I need to go. I do feel like a gamer. Uh oh. I do feel like gamers need to rise up to, uh, because they are definitely a repressed group. Because, you know, sometimes when you're playing a game, it's like the SpongeBob bit where it's like, sometimes my butt itches. You know? When Patrick said that, I felt that. Okay, uh, there's like a ton of materials that I would love to mine, but I don't want to bother with them right now because I don't have space for them. Ooh. That was a big oof. Okay, yeah, we don't have space. Stop mining, I don't have space. There's another TP down here. A side scroller. There was a, there was a review on this game that said something like, a platformer that has fall damage? What is this? And that guy? You know who that was? Steve Jobs said that. Now, I can't say for certain, but I'm gonna say for certain that it was Steve Jobs who said it. Also, uh, here's another kajillion dollars. Let's throw those in there. Uh, big pouch. Wow, I still have a lot of money, actually. Big lantern. I still kind of have a lot of money. Man, I'm getting, like, kitted out now at this point. I'm gonna continue looking to the right, but I'm gonna head up here first, because did you see that big patch of... That cash patch up here? Look at that. Look at all that money. Look at all this delicious juice. Look at that. Yeah, give me that juice. Give me that. I just got unobtainium from Avatar. The, uh... The movie that kind of was bad. The blue cat movie about the people and it kind of was sucked. Did anyone here like Avatar? Like, I didn't see it in 3D, so, I mean... That already is going to be a bad experience. I saw, I, I watched Avatar on DVD. It's a three hour movie. Nothing happens in it. I don't remember like anything that happened. That movie is trash. And they're going to make like 27 sequels eventually. One day. You know, strike while that iron is frozen cold. It's just really just... Strike white right now at like the perfect time for a new Avatar film. In the cultural zeitgeist, people really care about it. Remember that film about the blue cat people that everyone liked that one summer because it was in 3D? Like 10 years ago? We're making we're making 12 sequels. We're making this cinematic universe. Well, we'll see. Either the first one, either the first of the sequels does really well, and they make all the rest of them, or it tanks, and they probably just stop making the other ones. Although I'm pretty sure all of them are in production at once or something.
really going all in on Avatar. Not the good Avatar either. Not the last airbender, the, the blue cat benders. Cool. Gravity. I got gravity gra gra gravy grav. Oh god. I'm gonna head back over to this area. Go sell more. Yeah. Strike while the iron is frigid and unyielding. There we go, might as well buy the dynamite. Kayo Cruz would approve. Uh unfathomable tank, more health. Uh we could also get the sucker better. I I'll get a better punch, why not? There we go, we got two upgrades in the punch. Yeah, just have weird ponytail moment. Now that is a brother moment. Yeah, I got water and I didn't get hit. It's a good day. When you get water and you don't get hit, that's a good day in my book. Okay, that does a lot more damage now. This is looking very suspicious right here. Nestle won. Yo, what if this game came out in Nestle's America? You know what I mean? Like this, there wouldn't even be a game here. I wouldn't have any water. That really says a lot about society. What actually says a lot about society is I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Am I- did I like beat the game and now I'm like in a sandbox mode? I mean clearly there is an objective here. Like I got a quest objector objective to come to this general area. Maybe it's something to do over here. To the right. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it has to be something. Maybe it's an area on the right that I haven't been to yet. I've just unlocked so many tools that just navigating these mines is just so much easier. Alright, good night, Harms. Thank you for tuning in. Ow. Ow. Nice. Yep. Thank you, and I will uh, attempt to find out what I'm doing. If I can't, then I'll just stop for now. There's another teleport over here. Oh, this must be it. This is, yeah, it is. We found it. We found what we're supposed to be doing. Nice. All right, let's go do it. it took us a minute. And I think we just somehow narrowly avoided it a hundred times, but we found it. Oh, okay. Well, return to town. Fair enough. Let's see. That door! Three generators. We gotta find all three generators in the upper left. I was just down everywhere! Oh, are they back up here? Okay, wait, the generators are now in the old zone. This is not the zone you know. Well, luckily, it's gonna be like a cakewalk to get through here. Check this out. Look how much stronger we are. Like, this is like showing us how much stronger we've become. Look, we're, we're even allowed to cheat. Also, there is a, uh, did I just never, I just never got this? Okay, that wasn't even a secret. It was just something I didn't, didn't get. It is actually kind of cool being able to like fly around with my jumping and stuff. Oh yeah. Remember these guys? Remember these guys were such a pain? Get punched. I'm on my punch tour of the underground and you're all invited. Is there a secret within the secret? Oh, it's not even a secret. It's just like dig down there. 
Alright. Those smug little robots. They thought they were so smart. Yeah, well, who's smart now? I probably need this laser, but I don't care. I'm taking them down. Yeah, they were uh, they were front loading me with all these uh, rewards now. Well, they were back loading me with many many rewards. Wasn't I this cool before? Now, okay. Well, there is. I was gonna say there's like a tricky trick to that. There is not. There's not a trick at all. Many people are saying it. Many people are saying my my playthrough is tremendous. The best playthrough. Simply the best. The best playthrough on Twitch. Tremendous. They said it's pogorific. That everyone's saying it. Is this the area? I guess this was the area. Nice. All right. Well, I was able to do that. Check this. That was worth one dollar. It was called Trashanium or something, bruh. That's not even worth- that's not even worth my time looking at it. I was really out here getting trash anium before I got my upgrades. No wonder I was, like, having a tough time in the beginning. I was literally mining literal, like, garbage. Sell this stuff. I don't think I can even afford an upgrade. I might be able to. I don't know. Whatever. Let me just get healing. I'm thinking this game is- I think I'm very close to beating this game. Because <laughs> I've activated sicko mode. Like, it's kind of insane. Okay, I do remember seeing this earlier, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. Fall down this hole. Just run through here. We already have a pretty good amount of water. Check this place out. Oh, this is like the second level of the cavern. All right. Good night, Harms. Cavern level two. There's one thing I like about caverns is level two. By the way, a corner of your... Oh, is it the top... It's the top left corner. It's just like the perfect. Yeah, I see it. It's like the perfect amount just to be annoying. Just the perfect amount. It's based on how much light it's getting. This is why I don't like the green screen setup because the green screen is fine. It's just the lighting and the lighting is not even that bad. It's just, yeah, it's just the lighting needs to be like perfect and if something happens in game that's like big lighting uh it actually it screws it up which is fun <clears throat> i can dig this game <laughs> i can steam world to dig it oh, i should probably get the water seal i don't care I don't care about the water seal per se. I should probably get it. But uh, let me look at what else I can get. The knockout punch, I can't afford that yet, but I could get a big punch. Let's just get another tank upgrade. Health upgrade would be nice. Punch speed, good night. Good night, Alms. Good to bed, good night. All right, let us look down into here did we start i think we started here today we started like in this zone and now we're just like we're like a superhuman it's kind of it's kind of crazy how much better we are at, like in terms of kit and stuff like we are kitted out Nice. Wow, this uses none of my uh, water anymore. That is a great. That was a great upgrade. Oh, 
I can just like, like butter. Got yeah, butter, a hot knife. Just mine right my way through here. Oh uh, yeah, literally that's where we were earlier. We couldn't get that because we didn't want to like fall in the acid. Man, the times are changing. Back in the day when we were afraid of these guys, we we're like, we don't want to die. Now, we don't care, because we are epic. So that guy just melted in my presence. Wow. All right, cool. I'm gonna throw dynamite at him. I was gonna say, I didn't kill him. No, it did. I'm sure that dude didn't just die from his own dynamite, to be honest. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Yikes. Man got drilled to death. It's a hard knock life. Do I get a, like a full heal in here too? Oh yeah, like this is the thing we saw earlier. We were like, how do we get up there? Well, this is how we get up there. I was technically right. Phew, excuse my sneeze. I didn't have a mute button, so I just had to send it. I had to full send it and I apologize. Well then, I mean, ow, kind of? Very much a kind of ow, because I'm starting to not care as much as getting hit by things. At this current juncture that I'm in. All right. There appears to be a secret. Oh, okay. I see where the secret is. You can't hide from me, secret. Okay, maybe the secret can hide from me because I uh, forgot how these platforms worked. Never mind. Maybe I can reset it. I'll try my best to get this secret. I was saying, you can't hide from me, secret. I'll jump up here. I'll break the box. Check that out. Secret. And it's more blue. Blue orb. Man, we really got a lot of blue orbs now. Just like we kinda had none. Now we have we have every single orb in existence. I'll discard this. Why not? It's not even much better, but whatever. I love how he just melts into goo. The bad. We got the good, the bad, and the... I guess the ugly is probably for killing even more of them or something. A classic joke. Okay, well that's gonna blow. Eventually. Ow. Okay, there we go. Look at that, convenient. I mean, I really didn't need to do that, I don't think. Also, this zone? What is this area? Got more dark matter, nice. Oh, okay. I see, we don't want to uh, end up in there. That's not worth it to me. Breaky, breaky. Nice. I probably should have just taken it. Because I've got a full heal at the end there. Alright, I'm sure I'll find a teleporter on my way back. Because I need one desperately for depositing my minerals. And we're gonna get like the big health upgrade. Yeah, we are an end we're an endgame now. 
I'll just keep heading down until I find another teleporter. Because I'm sure, I think I, pl I placed one. Down here. Oh, this is the big fall to this zone. There's a bunch of items that I can't even get. I think it what, was it here? Yeah. This new zone, this new funky zone. I already like mined through the entire area. So it's not crazy. Set back here. Sell our wares once again. Am I max level yet? Max, all right, yeah, we've, we've hit max level. Damage reduction, okay, cool. We're, we're out here. We almost have everything too. Let's get some armor. We can get even better armor. And then damage, overall just damage reduction. I mean, yeah, okay. Let's get third. We can get that if we need it. If we even need it, is the question. Okay. Do, 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 do. I don't like the design. The design decision to make it so that. Um, the blue orbs you can use for like temporary like portals basically or you can use them on upgrades because like I feel like I, I barely I use the portals as an emergency but like if if I was being more stingent stringent or whatever I would never use them and just be like oh it's a waste of upgrade material Well, while we're here, I mean, they also appear in like random spots like this in like sets of three and like that Like they want you to use them Yeah, I just kind of want to get I'm probably going to get an achievement if I get full upgrade material, so You know, might as well try to get it if I can If I'm on the way, you know That teleporter location I put was just such a bad location. Just because it's just like, oh yeah, I didn't sell anything. It's just it's right next to like the actual save point. Nice. Still can't afford it. I'll get some like big money rewards or something. There's actually a ton stuff over here nice bop, 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 bop. I'm glad they adju uh, addressed the like one thing I was like oh man I hope I can shoot up later and you can and that's very useful and nice because not being able to like shoot up was a force also it's nice of them to like actually let me use the drill like with that upgrade, now it's like possible to, you know, use it for more than a second. You can probably speed run this game pretty quick. This might be a fun replay game to see how fast you can beat it. Because it's it's short enough that it's like, I feel like I could try and be like, and now that I know where everything is, like, every, and now that I know what is expected of me, how long the game is about, and all that kind of stuff, it seems like it'd be kind of fun. Man, we have to go pretty deep. I might throw a teleporter like in the base over here. Like, go a little bit lower down here because I think you I think you go for a really long time without seeing any. Like, I'm just falling down here for a while. Oh no, there's one down here. All right, that's actually never mind. They they pretty much they pretty much put them anywhere you'd want to be. Yeah, we already maxed out the town. Doesn't mean we can't max out ourselves. 
knockout punch. No, give me the uh, uber armor. And then I gotta get the this, and then I gotta get... Oh wait, I need to buy the damage reduction too. I need a lot more money. But we'll get money. It'll be fine. It's mainly just to try to get an achievement or something, just to like... Because I'm sure there's one for like getting all the upgrades. That's true. Grab that dark matter. Yum. Oh yeah, there's another teleporter like right here too. And there appears to be a lot of uh, stuff in here. Okay, just teleport it just to activate that. I mean, a lot of the design, design decisions where I was like, oh, it's kind of weird that you can't, you know, pick your teleporter and all that stuff. Um, isn't as big of a problem now that I realize how short the game is. Like, you don't need to really, like, have the different teleporters and stuff. It's not like a crazy long experience. But, might as well be geared up as well as we possibly can. If we're going into this zone, I mean, we could get a better tank upgrade, but whatever. Nice. That's a full heal. Oh. I understand. That's just weird. That was like one of the only puzzles like that. Oh, there's like a boss. Oh, okay. My name is Rusty. Joe? Joe Mama. Oh no. Stop you! Okay, well, there's a boss fight here, which I was not expecting. Man shoots a laser of his own parts. I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's thinking. Okay, didn't need that. Get him, fist! I can see how this boss could probably be very tough if you are doing a speed run and you don't have uh, nearly as much stuff. As someone who, like, did a bunch of, uh, running around does. Ow. Okay, I was gonna say, is this block coming back? Oh, I guess I have to get him to shoot his own stuff maybe later. I see where I need to go. This is a little corner out. That's a dev corner they put in there for. Oh boy. He just kept uh he kept on spawning these guys, did he? <laughs> just uh kept them going. I mean honestly they're better for me because it's just extra lives and water. Well let's peep. Oh, there's another fan over here. Taking him a hot second to turn his eyeball out. Okay, that eyeball lasted longer than I thought. I'll give him the old punch. Right the tooth. Never mind. 
I gotta mine them. <laughs> like, like Minecraft. Alright, this is a cool boss. It's a little rudimentary. Ow. It's pretty neat, though. I wasn't ex honestly wasn't expecting a boss, and they like fully heal and give me like all my stuff back. Oh, that's kind of clever. He knocked out the platform. So now I have to punch it. I mean, technically I don't I have to, I could just wait until it comes back, but punching it's cool. All right. Oh, these ones suck, okay. It's the balmy boys. Bat, bat. Bat. Bat, oh no. Bat. That got bapped. Now I'm gonna head down here and bap this. <laughs> the drill seems faster, but it, to it probably isn't. It just sounds faster. Oh, we're gonna hydrate? I will hydrate in a second. I'm bossing. I can no longer spam. You can spam every minute, which is reasonable. I took damage for that hit. Okay. Try this again. Bap, bap. Bap, bap. Uh oh. Bap, bap. Alright, he's in pissed mode. Okay, he's in very, very not happy mode now. Uh oh. He's activated the no chill mode. I've seen, I saw your sip by the way. I'm, I'll get to it once I, uh, Avoid his sicko spray. Punch. Punch. Oh, okay. I got rid of the floor a little bit. A little late on the uptake there, guy. I was already halfway done punching it by the time he saw me. All right, well, I'll take a sip while I'm here. I lose valuable whacking time. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's just this one right here. Well, I guess there's one. I think there's one in the top left as well. Yep. Time to get this last one. Say everyone wave bye to Joe. Joe Mama. I'm gonna assume this is the last one. Goodbye, Joe. Joe dead. <laughs> Uh, he's dead. Yeah. Hey, that was pretty good. There, it's finished. Behold, my masterpiece. I thought it was supposed to be a statue of Rusty. He was the one who saved the town from those demons, after all. Not this. What is this, anyway? Is it not obvious? It's an abstract abstraction of the destructible steam bot acquiring godhood. Oh, did my character die? <laughs> uh, 
Oh. No, Rusty. No, Rusty. Close friend he was. No. He's still down there somewhere. I just know it. I'll keep looking. For better or worse, I'll find him. Anyway, she's the protagonist of Steam World 2. Steam World Dig 2. So I guess that game is a direct sequel. That was a pretty fun game. It was a- t I spent like two dollars on it. That was- it was four hours of entertainment. If we're going by dollar, I got- I got double the amount of entertainment out of it that I paid. A fish full of dirt. That game was good. And the sequel is supposed to be very, very good. So, um, yeah, we can be excited about that. And thank you for watching, and good night.